Hi everybody, my name is Tommy Cuevas, your personal cloud engineer here at Velocio. And today I'm going to be talking about the web version of OneDrive. So the great thing about moving your files over to the cloud is that you can access them from anywhere in the world, as long as you have an internet connection. So I'm going to share my screen real quick and show you how to access your OneDrive from the browser. So right now I'm at my M365 home. When I first log into M365 or Office 365 uh, via the web, this is the first place that I'm going to land. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click on my waffle, that's the name up here for these dots, and this is going to pull up my app launcher. Now, since you have an Office 365 or an M365 license, you can access any of the Office suites from a web browser, even if you don't have them installed on your local computer. And this is going to show me all the applications that I have access to. But today, we're going to be focusing on the OneDrive one. So I'm going to pull up my OneDrive, and this is going to pull up the web interface for all my files that have been either shared with me or that I've created within my OneDrive. And it gives you tons and tons of options here and ways to sort your information so you can find the documents that you're looking for right away. So I'm in my web uh, home and uh, this is gonna be the first place that I land. And I have my files here. I've had documents that have been shared with me or that I've shared with other people. I can mark down my favorites. So if there's a document I constantly have to work in, I can mark it as one of my favorites and it's available for me right here. And then of course, if I accidentally delete a document that I need, I have access to my recycling bin right here. Just so you're aware, the recycling bin keeps those documents in for about 30 days. Or if I go ahead and clear out my recycling bin, let's say for instance, I accidentally do that and I didn't mean to, just so you know, there is a second stage recycling bin that your administrators do have access to, and they're able to recover files up to 90 days old. Anything beyond that, it's gone. Uh, I can also browse uh, my files by people that have sent them over to me. So if I know I'm looking for a file that Bob sent over, but I don't remember the name of it, I can go ahead and click on here and filter by uh, users and people that have sent me over documentation. The other great part is, say for instance, I was in a meeting and I cannot remember the meeting or the document that was sent over. Maybe a client sent you over a document via the meeting. I can click on my meetings tab right here and I can pull up any documentation that was shared to me in a meeting. My name is Tommy Cuevas. I hope you really enjoyed this video. The web version of OneDrive is really robust. I highly suggest going ahead and checking out, poking around, seeing how it works. Uh, if you have any questions about OneDrive, Teams, SharePoint, or anything else in the Microsoft stack, please feel free to reach out to us here at Velocio. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope you have a great day.